Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Deb. This year, the Cleveland Clinic's third annual Mention It educational campaign for the first time sought to find out how many men and women view men's health, including their overall awareness, their comfort level, when discussing taboo topics and actions that they take towards better health. Here to discuss the survey findings is Dr. Daniel Shawkes. Doctor, why are men so reluctant to share their health concerns with their partner or even their own doctor? Well, there can be lots of reasons for it. It's certainly not a manly thing to show weakness and complain about one's health. Uh, we've known for a long time that men are n very poor and certainly not as good as women at getting preventative health and seeking health care when there's a problem. Our prior surveys have looked at how men talk with each other and uh, seek out preventative care. This year, the survey was expanded to look at women, their spouses, and the effect that their discussions have had on this. And indeed, women seem to be the driver of this and push their spouses to seek care. Doctor, why do you think just as many people will turn to the internet for a health diagnosis as they will go to their physician? Well, the internet, for the most part, is free and easy to access. Uh, unfortunately, it is a stream of raw information. The same way you wouldn't want to look at a weather map with the different pressure levels and try to decide yourself what the chance of rain for you is, looking at information spread out throughout the internet, some of it good, some of it bad, is not the right way to find out about your health problem. The role of a physician is to distill that information and give you the information that is relevant to your own condition and help guide you. Doctor, what are a few health issues that are indicators of a potential larger issue that men shouldn't ignore? Well, as urologists, we see a number of issues that can be a gateway to other problems. So for instance, men come to see me as a urologist because of erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction can be a harbinger of heart disease, of cardiovascular disease, and it very often uh, occurs before symptomatic heart disease happens. Indeed, in one study, 80% of men who showed up to the emergency room with uh, a new heart attack had had erectile dysfunction for the first time within the past three years. Another example, men who have frequent urination or urination at night, while it certainly could be the sign of an enlarged prostate, it could also be the first sign of diabetes or sleep apnea. So all these symptoms need to be taken seriously and not just treated as a particular symptom, but as a potential gateway to understand uh, other health issues in the man. Doctor, for men over 50, what in our important screenings should they know about? Well, for screening, and again, to emphasize, screening are tests that are done without the presence of symptoms. Uh, certainly colonoscopy is important. Cardiovascular health, uh, especially checking blood pressure because that will not be symptomatic unless it gets, or until it gets very severe. And on the urology side, for most healthy men, age 50, uh, prostate cancer screening, which can involve uh, a physical exam and a PSA blood test, uh, can be very helpful at finding disease while it's still treatable and curable. Doctor, where can our listeners go for more information? Well, we have information on our website, clevelandclinic.org slash mention it, M-E-N-T-I-O-N-I-T. Doctor, I'd like to thank you for taking the time this morning to talk with us. Have a great day. Thanks for having me on. You're welcome. Bye.